Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and today we're going to talk about putting up a MySQL database. Now, a few weeks ago I did a tutorial on My Coffee Cup Form Builder, and I said eventually one day I would show you how to put up a MySQL, and today is that day. And this comes at the request of Francisco from my YouTube account. Uh, important to putting up a database is what uh, server you used, and we use SiteGround. It allows unlimited number of MySQL databases, and it's fairly inexpensive. One thing to keep in mind, though, it's a shared hosting service, so you wouldn't want to put real secure information up there, like social security numbers and the like. But we typically deal with a lot of academic information, which is not secure information uh, in the areas that we wor are working in. So it's great for our needs. And we have to put up a lot of databases. We typically put up to five to ten databases a week, and it allows us to do that with no problem. First thing you want to do is just log in. And after you go to log in, go to your cPanel. And I have my cPanel up here. And what I want to do, let me move this over just a little bit, is I want to navigate down to uh, databases. And in databases, I see that I have the MySQL, which will, is where I'll create the database, and phpMyAdmin. phpMyAdmin is a great tool for working with databases, uh, for creating tables and the like. Uh, let's click on MySQL. And you'll see immediately SiteGround has its cPanel, and it has a video tutorial if you need to follow along on how to create the database, which I'm going to show you how to do now. Just scroll down and give your database a name. So I'm going to say my database name. And let's create the database. Let's go back. And so now you have a database, but you need to create a username. Let's scroll down a little bit and take a look and see if that we did indeed create that. And you can see right here we have a file called My Database Name. And it has an extension that uh, SiteGround has added, and that is my site name. And whatever your site name is, it's going to add that extension to the database name and also to the username, but not to the password. And that's important to know when you're filling out that PHP information to make this run. So our name is flexhack underscore my database name. And now let's add some users to this. So let's go ahead and make up a username, and I'll call it username. And I won't take more than seven characters, so let's type in user. And let's make up a password, and I'll just call it user PW for password. So I just added PW to the end of it. And I'll type that in again and create the user. So now I have a database, and I have a password and a user and I need to add that user to the database. So I'll scroll down and I'll go add user to database. So let's find our user. And you can see it's added that flex hack extension to the username. And my username should be in there. There it is, underscore user. And then I choose the database and that was flex hack underscore my database name. And submit. And we'll accept those privileges and you've created a database that you're ready to put into Coffee Cup. Now that we've made our MySQL database, we want to come in and put that SQL database into the Coffee Cup Form Builder. Fairly easy to do, just go to Edit, click on Form Settings, and click on Save Result to MySQL. So click on Save Form Results to MySQL and put in the database name, which was flex hack underscore my database name and the username was user but remember we have to add that flex hack extension user and with the password we don't add the flex hack extension user pw just a quick note about username and passwords you obviously would not want such a simple username and password for a real database these are just simply put for the example here you want to make sure that they're complex and they contain both numbers and letters so hit OK. And there you have it. You've just created a MySQL database. And as your client puts in the name and email and gender and hits submit, all that information will go to a MySQL. If you have, fur if you have further questions, feel free to email me and ask for a tutorial.